So one thing that most people who just have fruit trees in their yard and haven't intentionally planted them don't do is that they don't cut them back. You really should every year. If the tree is over four or five years old and it's you know taller than about six foot, you really need to trim it back. If you're planting a tree for the first year though and it's a big tree, don't, don't cut it back. I would wait a year. Uh, we've had problems when we've done that. But cutting them back, uh, I'm going to go over photos, if not video, of, of a before and after apple tree and pear tree. And these are huge trees. This year we're actually going to cut the tops down because um, we have so many birds in our area that if we don't cover our trees with bird or deer netting, they will eat the fruit off the tree in one day. They'll be gone. All the apples, all the pears gone. So I've heard a lot of people say, oh, you know, if you put it up, it'll hurt birds. You got to choose. I mean, I think last year we had two birds get tangled in all of our trees. We have probably 25 trees. Two birds got caught in the netting, but that's the risk you take when you want to have fruit. So the cheapest way to do this is to go to Home Depot or order online at this point. And you see this bird netting? There's also deer netting. They're basically the same. This says deer netting. This says bird netting. Um, the deer netting may be just a tiny bit closer in its uh, squares. Looks like this, actually. Let me find her out. Okay. It is horrible to work with. It's like Christmas tree lights. It gets tangled on everything. You can't unwrap it. It's such a pain. So when you unroll it, if you have two people, do use two people to do it, um, to stretch it across your trees. And then if you can, early on right now would be when you want to do it. Cut your trees back and down lower so that you can easily get this over your tree. So you can get seven feet by a hundred feet, which would be either half a tree or a little tree. Or you can get the 14 by 14, which typically is pretty good at covering half of a very large tree or a whole pretty big tree. So either one of those, get those, have them. I put them over my strawberries. I put them over all my fruit trees. Anything that's picked on by a rodent or a bird, I cover with this. Again, it, it's, you're going to get mad about it because it's hard, it gets tangled and blah, blah. But it saves your, your crop. So there is another option, which I love, but it's expensive. Um, it is this kind of netting but it's made with nylon string so you can keep it forever you don't throw it away or it doesn't get tangled like that and it's super strong and we put that over our greenhouse doors so you see this see it that's pretty cool but it's a little pricey i can't remember how a roll of it was like 400 dollars, and it only covered like four of the greenhouse doors so it's not it's pricey i think it's called bluebird the company's called bluebird or whatever that carries it but look at it it's amazing and then when you take it drop it it has the weight it drops down so it can keep grasshoppers out better birds out of the greenhouse they can't get in where they can get in sometimes with looser stuff when the wind's blowing so that's another option if you've got the money that's the way to go so i wanted to mention that because it's fruit tree day today we're cutting all the fruit trees before the snow and they're budding already. So if you're cutting your fruit trees and you want to cover them, cut them short, top them off, get them down lower so they're easier to reach and easier for you to get your fruit. Like, look at these crazy trees over here. See those two tall ones right there? It's a pear tree and an apple tree. We're going to top it off and cut it back. So I'll take pictures to, to show you before and after. Each year we've cut a little more than normal. It's really scary to cut a fruit tree when you see buds because you're like, oh my God, there's apples. I could come on that. The only problem is it sucks the tree dry of the energy that it needs to develop really good apples and a lot of them on each branch. So take the chance and do it, even if you do it every other year. At least your tree's getting what it needs to the fruit. Okay, so I'll take photos before and after of the trees.